one of the biggest mistakes that people do when they are trying to manifest something is that they are trying to manifest something that society wants them to manifest they think that they will look successful in the eyes of society and that is why they always try to attract something that society has set an example for what success looks like they always try to manifest something or someone who society thinks is the ideal person it shouldn't be this way when it comes to manifestation and attraction what people should be doing is trying to manifest attract something that they really want but the problem is that people have forgotten what they really want from life they are only trying to be a carbon copy of somebody else they are trying to be a copy of someone who looks successful they are trying to attract someone who society thinks is the ideal person not what they really want and why does this happen this happens because people do not understand themselves completely if they do not understand themselves how will they know what they want from life once you understand yourself you understand your uniqueness everybody is beautiful and unique in their own different ways when you are trying to manifest something without understanding your true self it is almost as if a dog is trying to manifest trying to be a cat a cat is trying to manifest trying to be an eagle an eagle is trying to manifest to swim like a fish so before we manifest before we try and manifest something it is very important to understand ourselves otherwise we will only end up trying and trying harder and harder end up in anxiety burnouts stress depression and we will not achieve that what we want and even if you do achieve that what you want you will never be satisfied because it is not in your innate nature to have that or to want it you are just wanting it because society wants you to have it you are just wanting it because you think you will look successful or cool in the eyes of society you are just wanting it because your mind has been conditioned throughout the years since you were a child you need to understand there is a lot of conditioning and a lot of training done to your mind since you were a child your parents your neighbors your friends your relatives your teachers all of them wanted you to be something and attract something and manifest something and that is what you are trying to do right now you are trying to fulfill their desires through you you try very hard you try and try it is almost as if you are trying to swim against the flow of water which will only end in sadness what we should be doing is set out on a journey of understanding ourselves our true selves our spiritual selves once you understand the spiritual self there is no effort needed in learning how to manifest in understanding the self you have understood the art of manifestation and attraction what is happening right now in the name of manifestation and attraction is that people do not know who they are people do not know what they want all they are trying to do is manifest and attract something that just looks cool and there are many teachers out there who talk nonsense in the name of attraction and manifestation they say things like write a note about what you want in life put it in a glass of water keep it under the full moon next morning what you want will be yours do not fall for this nonsense nobody will tell you this that to understand manifestation to understand attraction you do not need a teacher all you need is your awakened self your awakened self when people are trying to manifest something and attract something that they are not and that they do not want they are just forced to attract this because of pressure from society 
which eventually leads to pressure from themselves to attract something or someone they feel so insecure this is what society has done to our minds make us feel insecure and then make us want something so badly instead be your own master be your own teacher get awakened to the spiritual self and this spiritual self will be your guide in manifestation and attraction manifestation and attraction will never be a problem for you once you understand who you are and what you want in understanding who you are you will understand what you want from life you need to understand that everybody is unique a painter is beautiful and unique in his own way a sportsman is unique in his own way a sculptor is beautiful and unique in his own way a singer is beautiful and unique in his own way you must have come across a performance once at least in your lifetime where you must have thought so beautiful it looks as if almost the artist was not at play there something from the divine was happening that is because something from the divine something from the beyond was happening right there when you you need to understand that when you realize and awaken to your unique self and understand what is your individuality what is your calling in life that is the time universe begins to flow through you if you are a painter it is not you painting it is the universe painting through you the universe just uses you as a tool to paint to put the art and creativity out there for this it is very important to first awaken get enlightened to your real selves what happens when you are not awakened is that you are in a state of unconsciousness where you do not realize the real self you do not realize what you really want from life and you are in a state of sleep your eyes are open but you are asleep trying to follow society blindly when you awaken to your real self it is almost as if you were blind before and now you have eyes to see eyes to see and understand that we are all not built the same way we are all unique awakening to the self the real self will make you realize this make you experience this many people understand this fact but only in theory we all are unique we all are different all we need to do is find this creativity that is within us an awakening to the spiritual self not only opens the doors to manifestation and attraction but also opens the doors to eternal joy and happiness and peace within you there are a lot of people who are in anxiety and depression but they put out a picture of themselves that they are very happy this is what social media has done to us even a depressed person can look like a happy person in the eyes of others and then everybody else tries to follow this idea of what happiness looks like being happy truly and just acting as if you are happy are two different things but because of social media today it has become one someone feeling happiness within them is different from just pretending to be happy and looking happy and this is what people are trying to do today they are trying to manifest just an idea of what happiness looks like they are trying to attract just a picture of what happiness looks like instead of trying to attract real happiness real peace instead of trying to attract different things at different times for example you're trying to attract a job you're trying to attract a person you're trying to manifest and change the way you look instead of attracting all these different things at different times it is best that you try to do one thing once and understand everything else after that 
and that one thing is awaken to yourself your spiritual self first wake up from this sleep that you think is life once you wake up manifestation and attraction becomes your innate nature what you want will be yours there is no need to struggle for it and along with that as a bonus there is eternal joy peace happiness and something that is much more greater than happiness begins to happen within you you begin to feel ecstasy in every single moment there is no depression and sadness anymore there is no misery and suffering anymore 